What's going on y'all, it's DG back with another video today. We are going to talk about over 100 new basketball shoes. This is the series where I just go over what has caught my eye over the past week. And basically I just talk about, you know, basketball shoes, hoop shoes, even some throwback hoop shoes that we can all reminisce on. So if you like talking about hoop shoes, basketball shoes, or just sneakers in general, then this channel is for you. So make sure to hit that subscribe, like, comment, whatever you wanna do. Starting off with the entire Kobe Pro Tro Halo collection. So in honor of the Kobe 9 Halos, both in the Elite Highs and the Lows supposed to drop in September, we did get this official photo media marketing picture from Nike Basketball themselves. And look at this guys, we got all the way up to the 11s. We did get a really clear image of the Kobe 6 Halo as well as the Kobe 4 and 5 Halos, which hopefully release, you know, I think they're going to release one Halo every single year. So hopefully we can get this entire pack over the course of time, just like the Fade to Blacks. And these really do remind me of the Fade to Black guys in terms of just that collection. But this one obviously just halo and just pure white. Starting off with this banger, guys. A lot of things to look forward to. And we are going to continue to talk about Kobe Protros and, you know, just a discussion on that, how it seems like they're making it more available, especially the Kobe 8s. But in the meantime, here is the new colorway of the Zoom Freak 6. Please watch my full on in-depth performance review if y'all want to see how these perform. But in summary, these are not amazing. I would definitely say if you are interested in this product right here, definitely wait for a sale. Every single Nike basketball shoe pretty much goes on sale relatively or like generally speaking. And these are nothing too amazing. They have really, you know, they have good court feel, but like it's a signature shoe and there's a lot of other options by other brands, including Nike, that are better than these, to be quite honest. So this is a free, this is supposed to be called the Freaky colorway because the outsole has Freaky on it. I'm not too sure the inspiration, but I'm not really going for these. I think the Roses colorway is the best colorway that we have seen so far, but this is a new colorway that we could talk about right here. The Kobe 9 Low Pro Tro is supposed to release on September 19th, guys, these are tough. These are amazing. These just look really good in this halo colorway as well. If you guys are curious to see how these perform, just go check out my guy, Chris, Nightwing2303, Wear Testers channel. He did a review already, but I cannot wait for these to release. I may just pay resale because I think it's sort of hovering around 300 and I might just bite the bullet and just cop them early because I really want these. And I'm not too optimistic about my chances to get these for retail, so I might just pay resale right now before they just upmark prices. Here we have MB04 slides. So not a basketball shoe, but obviously related to LaMelo Ball and his MB04s, I guess. But this kind of has the MB04 upper. They have not officially released marketing for the MB04 yet or any press for it as far as I'm, you know, as far as my knowledge goes. But let me know. Leave a comment down below if you guys are going to rock these MB04 slides. I feel like they're comfortable. I mean, Puma makes comfortable shoes. I feel like it's just the looks, aesthetics, if people are going to rock with them or not. But honestly, that triple black one, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to wearing it. And it does seem comfortable, but leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys think these are hideous. On September 6, guys, there will be a bunch of Team Bank Kobe 8 Pro Tros that are going to be releasing at retailers, most obviously including Nike.com. This is what they're calling the Lakers or Hollywood Knights colorway. I do think these are one of the better ones out of the Team Bank colorways that are going to be releasing. But like I said, if you guys have watched my videos in the past, like these sneaker discussion, hoop shoe discussion videos where I go over new hoop shoes, I've said this like every video, but I feel like, and it's pretty much confirmed that they are going to be making the Kobe 8 more readily available and that kind of like team shoe, like basically where it's the most available, it's not going for too high of resale price, like it's going to be easier to get, they may sell out, but you know, resale is probably going to hover around 200 average. So I feel like they're making the Kobe 8 the most available. It, it's really good that they're starting to make Kobe's more available because they're dropping a bunch of team colorways. Just go to the Nike app, type in Kobe, and you will see all of these shoes loaded up for September 6. But it makes me kind of like sad because they chose the Kobe 8 as this team shoe and not the Kobe 5 or the Kobe 6. Because I do obviously like the Kobe 5 and Kobe 6 a lot better. So hopefully in the future models, they start, you know, um, replicating this 
availability model where these are just more available. And hopefully, you know, with future colorways of the fives, future colorways of the sixes, future colorways of the fours, they make them more available too in team colorways. We do have this team navy colorway also dropping on September 6th. Let me know if you guys are going for these. I will be trying to get these just to like see how they are in person. You know, do they look a little bit nicer? And obviously the Kobe 8, you know, could be a good gym shoe, good walking shoe, right? Especially if they are available. I mean, guys, these are the Kobe 8. They look very, very good, especially in this low top fashion. Everyone likes how this shoe looks as well. And it's been, you know, so many years since this shoe first released and it still looks amazing amongst all the basketball shoes today. So let me know what you guys think of this team navy colorway. I will definitely be trying to go for these. Here we have a new colorway of the Serious Player Only Plus. These are tough guys. I'm not too sure the name, but it seems to have like a like a wave fire pattern on the upper, although it's kind of blurred out. But let me know what you guys think of these. Speaking of the Kobe 8, these Guys, these might be better than the Kobe 8. And I think like if you actually have these in hand and actually play in them, you will definitely feel, you know, what I'm saying. You know, if these had a Nike check on it, everyone would be, well, not everyone, but like a lot of people would be wearing these. But yeah, these are a very good shoe. It's obviously inspired off of the Kobe as well. So that's where it kind of gets its inspiration from. But let me know what you guys think. But let me know what you guys think. And if you guys have actually played in player one pluses. Here's this new Jeremy Lin shoe. Let me know what you guys think of these. I mean, the only thing that I would say is that that traction doesn't look too good on dust just based on my personal experience. And like having played in traction patterns like that before in terms of just like dust getting stuck into those little grooves. But the first, you know, Jeremy Lin shoe that I played in was not even a signature shoe. It was like the Levitation 4s. It was his PE before he had a signature shoe. But yeah, congrats to Jeremy Lin. He actually lives in, you know, where I'm from, kind of. I actually saw him during lockdown at a park one time and took a selfie from a distance with masks on. So yeah, shout out to Jeremy Lin. Big inspiration, especially coming from the Bay. 84 Aunt Pearls are supposed to be coming out this holiday season um, as a retro, obviously. But yeah, guys, these are going to go crazy in the streets for sure. So these are going to sell out. These are going to go for high resale prices, in my opinion. So definitely, you know, keep your eye out. I'm talking about these just to put them on your radars, put them on your calendars, guys. Put them on your notes somewhere because these are definitely going to be a great hit come the holiday season. And KD4 on Pearl might be the best on Pearl right in terms of both aesthetics and colorways and stuff like that so shout out to nike for bringing back a classic kobe 6 pro tro halo guys this is the shoe that a lot of people are complaining about because they cannot see the swoosh and i love the colorway absolutely love it but yes i do think that they could have made the white on the swoosh a little bit darker so we can see it but nonetheless, guys, these are going to go crazy. Hope, I mean, I, I feel like these are going to release eventually, right? They're, they got to release the entire Halo collection over time, like we talked about earlier. So we're, it's only a matter of time until we get these. And I cannot wait. It's also a very good base for custom for all my customizers out there. You can have a little bit fun with it. So let me know what you guys think of the Kobe 6 Halos right here. It does obviously remind us of, you know, the Kobe 6 sales that are supposed to release in 2025. But you know the sails are obviously a slightly different shade than these and you can see the swoosh on those but these are tough guys these are tough so hopefully we can all get our hands on these kobe 5 pro tro halo these are also tough the swoosh is hard to see i did post a tiktok on this shoe and a lot of people are like oh are those serious player onlys and it's like you got to think about how serious player only kind of had inspiration from the Kobe's. So, you know, obviously the Kobe's did it first, but yeah, I do see the fly wire is crazy in these. And yeah, these are clean, these are clean. I do wish that they made the swoosh a little bit darker in terms of the whites or made it a little bit gray on the gray side. But yeah, it's only a matter of time until we get these. I'm sure these are prototypes or samples and maybe the official release in the future won't look exactly the same guys. You know, Nike can change things anytime, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think between the fives and the sixes, which one is better for the Halo. Speaking of serious player only, this is what people are talking about, guys. Like just the fly wire inspiration on the lateral side. You guys can kind of see that. But let me know what you guys think of serious player only. This colorway right here seems to be like a moon midnight colorway. Not too sure on the official name, but you can go in these guys. These are a very good performance model. And I think 
A lot of people who have played in the shoe know that. These are great. Another colorway of the Player One Plus right here. This is the Girls Rock colorway. I do believe it is a collaboration with a brand called Girls Rock. And these are cool. You know, it's kind of like a Cosmo Wanda kind of if yeah, kind of with the green and kind of like the pink and, and rose red. But let me know what you guys think of these. Nick DePaula actually reported that WNBA star Angel Reese signed a deal with Reese's. So maybe we can see a Reebok Reese's colorway collaboration but overall wanted to include these in here i want to include like news just anything related to basketball people athletes shoes and stuff like that so these types of videos will include that guys and yeah i think it's fun just to stay updated on the news that's kind of like what i'd like to do so let me know what you guys think of angel reese and her reese's collab reese is one of the best candies of all time hands down hands down and this is great marketing. I mean, her last name literally is Reese. So this is this is great. Here is a picture from Nike Basketball of the Kobe 9 Elite Pro Tro drop-in React midsole. And the reason why I included this in this video, guys, is because they should have added full-length zoom strobel to this shoe. And I feel like, you know, they could do that with every Kobe Pro Tro. They really should have done that with the eights, guys. Those would have been like a those could have been like a GT Cut 1s, guys. And you know how many people say the GT Cut 1s are, oh, I need a pair. I need a, I need a pair of this. I need a pair of that. I need the GT Cut 1s. I can't believe I, you know, they're so limited, right? Like Nike could have done something great with just putting the or the uh, the Zoom strobel beneath the drop-in midsole here, just like the GT Cut 1s. And they didn't do that. Hopefully with the 7s, the 8s, or not even the eights, the sevens, the tens, the elevens, they add zoom strobel. And I know like, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, it may take away from the court feel, but I feel like it doesn't, you know, right? Like that's why so many people like the GT Cut ones is because like it, it had a great balance of court feel and cushion with some bounce, with a lot of responsiveness, right? Like I guarantee adding zoom strobel won't take away, like won't subtract anything, right? Like it's a net positive. So hopefully in future models, they do that. But that's why I wanted to include this picture in the video. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys agree with me. Feel free to disagree, but let me know if you guys want Zoom in Kobe Pro Tros again. Another piece of news, guys, in this video is that LEGO is officially partnering with Nike. And this just brings me back to the Kyrie line, the PG line. Like, imagine a Kyrie collab with LEGO. That would have been crazy. And I feel like PG could have done a great collab with Lego as well, like he did with Hot Wheels most recently, P, uh, the PlayStation collaborations, and obviously with Kyrie that I mentioned, the SpongeBob collab, the all of the preheat colorways, like they could have done something with Lego there. I'm not saying that they could not do that today with the signature athletes that they have, but you know, everyone loves Kyrie and he was kind of known for those collaborations, especially with SpongeBob. But let me know what you guys think of this Lego and Nike collab. I think it's a really good partnership. Here we have a photo of a lot of Team Bank colorways of the GT Cut 3. So we do see the Volt one down, you know, in the bottom of the photo that has released on Nike.com. But we do see a purple, we see a navy, we see, you know, Texas orange, we do see a green. Let me know what you guys think of these TB colorways of the GT Cut 3. These are very good. You know, it, it is interesting because for the GT Cut 2, they didn't release the TB colorways. They did go to outlets, but these, these are only going to, you know, college teams and stuff like that. Same thing with the GT Cut 2. And I do expect these to, you know, hit outlets eventually in terms of the purple, the navy, you know, the Texas orange, stuff like that. I feel like they're going to go to clearance stores and stuff like that. So, but mostly these are just for college teams. But out of all of these colors, let me know which one you like the most. Also dropping in early September, September 6th, we do get this alternate Lakers colorway. You know, it, it is really lazy. In my opinion, it's lazy because it's just the halo. It's like the leftover halos with, you know, the, with, yeah, the Lakers colors on the swoosh and on the back. Come on, Nike. Come on, Nike. You could not you could not have made this like a real Lakers colorway. Just make the upper yellow or something like that. Like, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion on these. I will be trying to get these just because I love the Kobe 8. I think it's a great shoe. It's just, you know, not up there with the Kobe 5 or the 6, pretty much. But if they added Zoom Strobel, it would have been a lot better. Jaw 2 Christmas official photo, guys. Yeah, guys, these, these look, you know, what we can expect from a second signature shoe. 
nothing crazy. I do like the colorway. It does, does remind me of the Jaw 2 CNYs as well as the Kobe 5 Undefeateds. But I do like them. I will be trying to get them. And, you know, with these Jaw colorways, they never sell out, guys. Maybe, you know, if there's a pink one, it'll sell out. But yeah, these will be readily available. And I do like them. One thing I will mention, though, just as a heads up, guys, because I'm 99.9% .9 sure this will happen. It does come with an accessory. So I do believe the retail price will be definitely higher on these. So let me know what you guys think of the Jaw 2 Christmas. Speaking of holidays, we do have the Halloween book ones. These are tough, but why are they making, how long is the book one gonna last guys? You know what I'm saying? Like it hasn't been this long, but the reason why I mentioned that is because they are releasing the all-star colorway for summer 2025. So that leads me to believe that the book one has like a two to three year life cycle or maybe two years. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I do like this Halloween colorway a lot. I think it's clean. And yeah, I can't wait to book uh, to get these as well. Kobe 4 Pro Tro Halos. I think these, these are elite guys, especially because we can see the swoosh this time. And yeah, I mean, triple white, nothing too crazy. Hopefully these release soon. We've gotten a bunch of Kobe 4 Pro Tros over the years, guys. I do have most of them, if not all of them, all of the general releases. And out of, yeah, we have like, they've released a bunch of Kobe 4s, um, more so than the 6s, more so than the 5s. And obviously more so than the 8s because the 8s just released this past year. But let me know what you guys think. Hopefully we get these soon as well. But it does seem like they're releasing one Halo every year. So again, over the course of time, over the course of many years, I guess we'll complete the collection. Book 1 Olympics colorways. And the reason why I put this on here is because Devin Booker recently talked about these on his story. And um, they called it the I'll Do It Pack. And it was just a reference to a tweet where a couple of years ago, Kyle Kuzma tweeted and asked a question saying, who is gonna take a role for Team USA? Who is going to take a back seat? And Book quote tweeted that and said, I'll do it. And obviously this past, you know, Olympics, Devin Booker, probably the unsung hero because he played such a great role, played defense, you know, passed the ball, moved the ball around, didn't take too many shots. Like that's, that's like real basketball guys. So. The fact that he was able to take a back seat and he he goes for like 70 points right so he, he's capable of doing that but you know i guess this is the i'll do it pack in reference to his tweet so hopefully these release just a commemorative moment for Devin booker and i'll definitely get these if they do gt cut three i'm not too sure the colorway name guys but we did see pg paul george wearing this in his china tour asia tour and I'm not sure if I included the photo in this in this video of PG wearing it, but he was in fact wearing this colorway. So yeah, it was kind of cool to see PG wearing something outside of his signature line. And these are cool. These are cool. Hopefully they do release in the States. And the fact that we have official images is a good sign, but you know, for sure they're releasing overseas in China. Here we have the Stewie 3 Harry Potter collab. Didn't know, you know, Stewie loved Harry Potter so much, but let me know what you guys think of these. I'm not feeling them too much just because they kind of look like a kid's shoe in terms of the design. And it kind of looks like a toy, you know what I mean? But I love Harry Potter, you know, during the, I forgot, like ABC Family used to play Harry Potter on reruns when I was a kid. And yeah, it's just, a yeah, obviously it's one of the best franchises of all time. So it is cool to see a basketball shoe with a Harry Potter collab. Here is an Iverson Angel Reese collab. Leave a comment down below if you guys would actually cop these or just any Angel Reese basketball shoe. Recently, we did get the Tatum 2 Lemonade to retail on Nike.com. We did get a switch up this year. The Tatum 1 came in a pink lemonade. The Tatum 2 comes in a regular lemonade, but we did get a Tatum 2 pink lemonade for the Tatum 2 Elite Camp, but it was a player exclusive at PE. So if you guys watch my guy Wear Tester's performance review on the Kobe 9 Pro Tro, he did point out where that extra line is. I do have the Elite Highs in hand right now, guys. And by the time that you're watching this, hopefully the first day that this is uploaded, the next day tomorrow will be the uh, Kobe 9 Elite High review. So stay tuned for that, guys. We'll be filming that as well over the course of the week. But let me know what you guys think of these guys. Let me know what you guys think of what Nike has improved for this Pro Tro version. Honestly, nothing too crazy guys honestly like is this a true pro tro i guess but they could have done so much better guys they could have done so much better so man 
you know, I'm kind of disappointed. Honestly, I am disappointed. I, I wish there's full length zoom strobe or just zoom, guys. The it retails for 240. 240 for the highs in 2024 in this economy. And this economy is not cool, guys. Um, Nike stock is down. The market is down. Everything is down. Income is down. Jobs are down. The, the economy is not good. All you like the least we can get is full length zoom in a Kobe Pro Tour, right? So like, let me know what you guys think. And obviously adding the extra line is cool, but like, I'd rather have full length zoom. Like it's not really like, you know what I mean? Like it already has the goat traction of all time. Like what is one extra line gonna do? So hopefully, you know, next Kobe Pro Tour, we get full length zoom. Here we have PDX resale for this colorway of the Kobe 8 Pro Tour Academy. Obviously you guys have seen all my videos. Um, of this shoe, I actually wore them, played in them once. So let me know what you guys think. These will not be releasing for retail, but every single Academy 2024 shoe for Nike EYBL came with those green laces that you guys can see on the left shoe in the photo. And the green laces, I did put them on for a video. They didn't look great. I'm not sure why they chose green for the laces for all of them, but it's cool. It's cool. It's a cool colorway. So yeah, hopefully Nike can release more Kobe exclusives for retail in the future. This is a throwback photo I wanted to include in the video, but who, rem yeah, who remembers the PG4 guys? This is like one of the worst fitting shoes of all time. You had to go up a full size and even then, it just wasn't great. I mean, a lot, of, like I remember like someone in the league, Michael Bridget, uh, PJ Washington or something like this shoe. But yeah, it was cool. I mean, it was comfortable, but like, the fit was crazy with the with the zipper, but let me know if you guys actually like playing in the PG4s. It is past Kobe Day, but I did want to recap the Kobe Pro Tro shock drop on uh, Kobe Day, August 24th. Let me know if you guys were able to get any of these. You guys know how these things go, guys. Like, it's a facade. They have all of these shock drops, but the stock allocated to each shoe is very low, so the chance of you winning is basically like the lottery because everyone enters. So I didn't even try. It's all good because I did purchase. Um, I purchased all of them for resale besides the Grinches, the reverse Grinches, because I did get exclusive access for those. But let me know what you guys think of these. Leave a comment down below if you guys were able to get any of these on the Shock Drop for retail. New Kobe 8 Pro Tro Team Bank colorway in gray, also releasing on September 6th, guys. Let me know what you guys think of these. These are clean. And again, you don't have to hoop in these, right? You can go to the grocery store, you know, put them with a little fit, wear them in the summer, go to the amusement park, get groceries, go to the gym. I don't know, guys, but these are a versatile shoe and it looks good. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm happy that Nike is trending towards the direction of making Kobe's more available. Ja 2 Halloween. These are tough, guys. If you guys watch my videos, you guys know my red red is my favorite color and i absolutely love gold on basketball shoes it just looks luxurious and these are cool these are cool it's different than the green halloweens that we got on the jaw ones and i do like these a lot hopefully the traction is improved hopefully the cushion is very improved because jaw one was just super low to the ground very responsive you could still feel the zoom in there don't get me wrong i actually felt it a lot but it was just a, like the heel and the midsole portion it was just not great but let me know what you guys think of the Halloween Jaw 2s. Kobe 8 Pro Tro Team Bank Red, University Red. These I will definitely be going for. This is number one on my list because red is my favorite color. I'll probably wear these out, guys. You know, just with shorts or something or, you know, or just to go to the gym or something. I don't know. With like a multi-purpose type shoe, I absolutely think the Kobe 8 is great for that, right? You can like hoop in them. You can you know, go outside in them. I just think these are a good looking shoe, right? So let me know what you guys think. And hopefully these don't sell out. You know, there's a bunch of colorways. Hopefully they don't sell out. And if they do, they just go for like retail or something like that. But that's the dream. That's the dream. Hopefully we can get to that point. But let me know if you guys are getting any of these or they're just not worth the money to you. Here we have a quick photo of the LeBron 21 China PE, um, I guess for the Olympics. And let me know what you guys think. We're not seeing these for retail, but I did want to include it in the video just because I bet a lot of people haven't seen these. Here is the next colorway for the I'll Do It pack. This is just the navy and gold. Hopefully, again, like I said earlier, these will release a new Giannis Immortality 4 colorway. I'm not feeling these. I do like the all white one better. The performance review for this uh, shoe right here will go up probably on Wednesday. I have filmed it already. And I will be giving away like this pair, actually. I will be giving away 
a Giannis Immortality 4 that I reviewed, the all white one. And I did finish the review. Like I said, it's gonna go up. I just need to edit it. But let me know what you guys think. Honestly, these are on par with the Zoom Freak uh, sixes. So honestly, both of those shoes just wait for a sale. Here is a new 361 Big 3 Future PE for Nikola Jokic. This is called the Horse Racer or something like that. These are cool. These are cool. You know, all these overseas brands are, you know, they make me happy because there's so many brands that you can wear. You know, like you don't only have to wear Nike. You don't only have to wear Adidas. There's just so many options out there. Here we do have Kelsey Plum's PEs right here, more specifically of the Breakthrough Fives, I believe. That's what these are called in this Plum colorway. These are cool, guys. These are cool. These are made specifically for women, but they do come you know, in extended sizes. Let me know if you guys would rock a Kelsey Plum shoe. Another throwback shoe, guys. This is the PG2 EYBLs. Clean, 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 clean. Do you guys remember these? I did see, I think Jason Tatum wore these uh, like a couple of years ago. And these are, these are tough. Let me know what you guys think of these and if you even remember them. The AE1 Low 3 SSB is supposed to be releasing in April, 2025. I don't know if it'll come in this mock. This is a mock-up, guys. It may not come like this. But it is reported to actually have a 3 SSB colorway coming next year in 2025. So, you know, this tells me two things that the AE1 is getting a long life cycle, which is very well deserved. It is a great looking, great performance basketball shoe. Although I do think the lows aren't as good as the highs, simply because, you know, they didn't really improve much. I actually think the cushion is better in the in the highs and the fit is better in the highs. But besides the point, these are a cool colorway. I will be trying to get them. And these look really good. You know, you can wear them casually as well. Kobe 9 Elite Pertro Highs did release over the past few days, guys. Let me know if you guys were able to get them for retail. I did not get them for retail. I did pay resale for them. The review should be going up later this week. And yeah, I did play in the nine highs. I did play in the nine lows. So I'm very curious to just play in these and see if they hold up basically. Here's a close look at Jalen Brown's new basketball shoe. Again, I do not know what this brand is. I don't know what the shoe really looks like besides this, but it does have some jewels on it. It does remind me of like an alien predator type vibe, but let me know what you guys think. Jalen Brown, he is not signed. If you guys remember in the finals or even throughout the course of last season, not even just the finals, but he did wear the GT Cut 2 without a Nike swoosh. And prior to that, he was actually signed to Adidas. He did have a PE or he had a couple of PEs as well. So let me know what you guys think of this basketball shoe right here. I'm not sure if this is his own independent brand or whatever, but leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Here we do have a picture of the Curry 12 Dub Nations. These are cool. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. I wish that they kept the upper a different color though, but nonetheless, I do like the midsole. Curry, the fit is okay. I did feel some space in between my toes and the material, which had a little bit of dead space, but the, the cushion is much improved. That's for sure. Like 100% it is because I played in every single Curry. Flotro, non-Flotro, flow, non-flow. And these are, these are good. These are good. I just, I just wish the upper was different or they put like a multicolor warriors on the upper or something like that. Here's like the Zen Oreo colorway. Let me know what you guys think of these. Not really feeling these too much. And then we have like an alternate colorway. I'm not liking these at all. We also got a first look at the Mamba Invitational and Vanessa Bryant was wearing these Kobe Air Force Ones. I do believe these are supposed to release guys because we did get confirmation months ago from Nice Kicks, from Soul Retriever that the Kobe one or the Air Force one Kobe colorways are supposed to hit retail eventually. So hopefully these are one of those Air Force ones. I feel like these will definitely get a release because we did see mock-up colorways of this shoe right here. And these are tough guys. These are tough Air Force one Kobe's. You got the stitched eight on the back with the Mamba logo um, embossed all throughout the upper, which is really cool. So leave a comment down below. Would you guys rock these even if you aren't a Lakers fan? Here we have another shot at the AE1 Timberwolves PE. Hopefully these release, hopefully these release. I know we got the Velocity Blues and the new Wave colorways, but I think these are the best kind of representation of the Wolves. And if you guys have watched my videos, then I always say I like 
monochromatic colorways and colorways that the team that represents. If you guys have watched my videos, you guys know that I absolutely love monochromatic colorways as well as shoes that represent the team that the player is on. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully these do release for retail. Going back to what I said earlier in the video, this is Paul George in Asia wearing that colorway of the GT Cup 3. Maybe this is his colorway, I'm not sure, but I'm not too sure the colorway name, but it is cool to see Paul George wearing a shoe that is not a Kobe and not a Paul George signature basketball shoe. We also got an official look at the LeBron Zoom Trainer 1. I believe that is the official name. Let me know what you guys think. I'll, I'll be, I'll be caught, caught. I will be trying to get these. I don't think they will sell out, but maybe this first Air Max colorway will. But these seem like a multi-purpose shoe. I think that's literally what it's made for as a trainer. But I don't know, maybe I did see LeBron warming up in them in the Olympics. So maybe I'll do a little performance review on it just for fun. But let me know what you guys think of these. Do have this LaMelo LaFrance lifestyle shoe. I did see the red colorway in person, but I have yet to see these worn by anyone but Melo on feet. But let me know what you guys think. I'm actually curious to see the sales numbers on these. And you know, if anyone's trying to rock these, I appreciate it though. Like I wouldn't wear it personally, but you know, there's like a market for everything, right? So, you know, you can't really hate on it because there's someone out there that may like it. And I personally wouldn't get it, but I appreciate kind of the effort here. Like it looks like a skater, you know, lifestyle obviously type shoe, but it's kind of crazy. Here we have a picture of Rob Dillingham in the Kobe 5 Pro Tro X-rays. Man, these go crazy. These go crazy. I'm very happy we are getting more Kobe 5s. More Kobe 5s for retail. These will definitely sell out though. These are gonna go crazy in the streets, guys. These are like, I feel like resale on these are gonna be like around five to 600, especially if they if they mess around and like, you know, make these limited for some reason. Hopefully they aren't, but I will be getting these some way, somehow. And the only surefire way, the surefire way to get any shoe, guys, pay resale for it. So let me know what you guys think of this colorway right here. Yeah, I can't wait to hoop in the. Here is another colorway of the Curry 12. I'm not feeling this one at all. But again, it is a nice shoe, good performer. Jaw 2 Stargazer. Jaw 2 Stargazer. I do believe this will be the debut colorway of the Jaw 2. And let me know what you guys think. I mean, I do like the Christmas colorway as well as the um, Halloween colorway a lot better. But these aren't necessarily horrible. Like, I do think they'll look better in person and on feet. I will be trying to get whatever releases first just to re review them and obviously just play in them and see how they feel for myself. And let me know what you guys think of this Stargazer colorway right here and whether or not which one is the best, the Halloween, the Christmas, or the Stargazer. Kobe 9 Elite Pro Tro Low is supposed to be releasing on September 19th. I almost forgot the date, guys. But these will be almost, I might pay resale for these guys. I might pay resale for these, like I said earlier in the video, because I'm not too optimistic about the retail chances, but you never know. I will, yeah, I might pay resale for these just to get these in hand and complete the collection, not have to stress on release day. Another throwback photo, but who remembers when Nike basketball used to look like this? I feel, well, I mean, times have changed, right? Society has changed, life has changed, we have all gotten older, but I feel like in it, like just generally speaking, the vibe back then was just better. Nike basketball was just more exciting. They released more, more fun colorways. The packs went crazy. The releases went crazy or not all the time, obviously, but like, you know, looking back, hindsight is 2020 and, you know, especially with Kobe sitting over here, it just, it just felt like a different time. So I wanted to reminisce, include another throwback photo in this video. Here's a picture of a Kobe 9 Elite Pro Tro Halo customized. Let me know if you guys are able to actually get these. And I wanted to include these in the video because the Kobe 9 Pro Tro Halo colorway is supposed to be great for customization, obviously. So I, I can't wait to see more photos across the internet of just Kobe 9 Halos and their customizations. More Team Bank colorways. We do have a UNC Blue. These are cool guys. I'm not sure not sure if these will release because they're not part of, or they're not on Nike.com, but I do expect, you know, UNC to get these 
and other schools, Nike colleges and stuff like that, or even high schools. These are tough. These are tough. This is a good colorway. Team Royal, Team Blue right here. These are cool. These are cool. Purple. I feel like a lot of people will like the purple here. So I do like them a lot. Although all of these outsoles are white. I mean, I guess it is a team colorway, but I wish they made like a monochromatic pack or something like that. It's a good sign because we are getting the Kobe 8 Pro Tro Team Bank colorways in kid sizes as well. So we do have the Hollywood Knights grade school versions, which tells me that they're going to be releasing probably a Foot Locker and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think. And if you got kids or little cousins and stuff like that, you know, this is not a bad option. We do have the red, University Red colorway releasing in kid sizes as well. More up close photos of the GT Cup 3 Team Navy, as well as that new colorway I don't know the name of. But again, I do think these will only release to colleges and then the leftovers will get sent to Nike outlets just like the GT Cup 2s. Here we have more colorways, new colorways of the Wade Flash. And these are really good colorways, guys. I do like the pink one. The pink one goes crazy. I do like the, the royal and black one. Those are really nice. And then obviously I would have ranked last that purple one. And then the other two, like the white bases, I don't really like that much but it is a solid basketball shoe for sure way of wade makes really good basketball shoes guys if like well my main recommendation is the wild 10 obviously like everyone knows the wild 10 is amazing so if you guys can afford those i would definitely just recommend to get those over anything else way of wade has um even the wow 11s like right now i do like the wow 10s over the 11s simply because like i said in my performance review guys i said this but the wow um the wow 11s kept my foot or like my foot kind of numb because of the fit so I need to go up half a size in those. And until then, I'm going to say the WoW 10 is my favorite. But these, these are really nice. Good colorways by way of weight. Clothing in this video as well. And it is obviously related to Kobe. So we're going to talk about it. We do have this. I think this was like for the Kobe 4 Pro Tro Gold Medal. But these are coming soon on Nike.com. I will be trying to get these. Yeah, these are a really nice hoodie. I think the retail is pretty high though, like 130, but nothing, I mean, like it's a good sweatshirt to wear, you know, if you want one sweatshirt, you know, just wash this every day and wear it every day. It looks good, it looks good. And it seems to be high quality as well. We are also getting this Lakers or, you know, a more traditional black and purple colorway. I will be trying to get this as well. The accompanying shirt, the shorts are really nice, dude. I really want these shorts. So hopefully these, I feel like these will sell out though. These are definitely gonna sell out, but hopefully we can get them for retail as well. The Kai One Kaleidoscope is supposed to be releasing at the end of the month. So at the end of this week, basically, let me know what you guys think. I'm not, it kind of reminds me of like a Spider-Man if they had a little bit more red and blue, but yeah, I'm not too crazy about them as you guys can tell, but it is clean. The new LeBron Next Gen Amped Titan colorway. I like these a lot, guys. These look a lot better than the first leaks or at least the official images because the official images, I didn't really see the details on these, but these are clean. You know, the Next Gen Amped is a really good model. It's a little bit more stiff than the regular Next Gen. That's what I've been saying. And that was by design by LeBron's team, what I was told by Nike, but these are really nice. I think, you know, the first Titan, well, they've had a lot of Titan collabs. They even had um, the 16 lows, the kind of like navy and the gold. I think that was still my favorite or the best one in my opinion. They had the 17 low. They skipped the 18 and the 19 highs, but they did have a 19 low. We didn't get a Titan colorway of the 20s, but we did get the next gen, the regular next gen. It was the yellow version. And now we're getting the next gen amped. I will be trying to get these. I don't know if they are releasing in the States, guys but I'll probably just go and go or StockX or eBay pay resale. It is what it is guys, but I probably will get these in the collection. I do collect the Titan colorways. Next up, we do have a first look at the Zoom Freak 6 EYBL promo colorway. This was for the Academy, I believe, the Nike Skills Academy or just the Nike EYBL, but no players actually wore these in the EYBL, but because it does have the extra green laces, I do believe it was for the Nike Skills Academy. And the reason why I say that is because every pair from the Nike Skills Academy did come with the extra green laces, the Kobe KD-17s that you've seen me 
wear on Instagram and on TikTok and stuff like that. Yeah, I like the clean aesthetic of these all blue. I don't think these will release guys, but I do think it's interesting that none of the players actually wore these. And the first time that I've seen these was on eBay. So let me know what you guys think of the Zoom Freak 6 EYBL. Next up, we do have the Dame 9 in the bread colorway. Had no idea it came with extra green laces, but I do like this. I did see these at NBA All-Star Weekend in Indianapolis, but these are supposed to be releasing at the end of the month. There are BAPE collab collaboration colorways that are supposed to be releasing at the end of the month as well from what I've seen re been reported online. So let me know what you guys think. Obviously I haven't played in them. I don't think anyone has besides, you know, Dame and his Formula Zero campers. But let me know what you guys think of them aesthetically. Speaking of the Dame 9, we do have the red Bape colorway. These are tough. I do like these better than the, you know, regular bread because yeah, these, I like camo colorways. It's not really a camo. It's more of like the Bape print. But let me know what you guys think. We did see a Dame 4 Bape, I believe. So they're kind of bringing that back, I guess five years later on the Dame 9. So there are supposed to be other colorways that we're going to talk about, but let me know what you guys think of this red colorway right here for the Dame 9. We have a brand new colorway of the Luca 3. Not too big into it, but the Luca 3 is a great fitting shoe for me. All I said in the performance review, guys, in my short form review, my long form review, I've said this countless of times, but it does not excel in a particular performance category. It's a solid shoe all around. Doesn't mean it's bad, but it doesn't mean it's great, right? That's what solid means to me at least. So if you guys are into, you know, Lucas shoes, I still think it is, I th guess, objectively the best ones in terms of just like everything has a little bit more cushion. The fit is so much better than me than the Luca 2s. So that's why I like these a lot better. But overall, traction's not bad. It's just not great. Cushion is not bad. It's just not great. So it's a solid shoe. I would say the 1s um, are just ultimate court feel. There's not a lot of like compression in that shoe, but the looks look really good for the 1s. But let me know what you guys think about the 3s and if you're actually playing in them. Here we have a brand new colorway. I believe this is called the Panama colorway for the Don Issue 6. Let me know what you guys think. I did upload a full on performance review for the Dawn Issue 6. So if you're curious about performance, please watch those videos. But I'm not really feeling this colorway right here, but you know, I think it's I think it's cool. I, th I think it would look better in person. I do have the camp colorway, which looked really good as well. So bread colorway of the Dawn Issue 6. These are tough, very, very clean. I like it. I think, you know, they're, if you're play, playing for an Adidas school or stuff like that, or just a fan of Donovan Mitchell, you cannot go wrong with this colorway. A blast from the past, guys. If you know, you know. So Mr. Unloved Ones on Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that, he is kind of an influencer in the Jordan community, at least. And if you guys are into just sneakers in general, because I don't think a lot of people understand that, like, I'm, I'm really just into sneakers, right? Jordans, especially, like, Michael Jordan is what I grew up idolizing. So like Jordans to me are just everything. Like I absolutely love Jordans. I used to collect so much more Jordans, like all the OG colorways, like all of the ones that he won championships in, you know, even the ones he didn't win championships in, I loved like all the OG colorways that he wore. I, I still collect them. I still collect OG colorways of Jordans, but I'm very selective with Jordans now because if y'all don't know, Jordan brand releases retro Jordans like every week, every week there's a new retro. So like there's, it's just hard to collect. And so I really slimmed down my Jordan collection. I'm more so like just a hype beast now, whatever I like colorway wise, or, you know, whatever looks nice to me is usually just the hype shoes. So that's what I usually go for. But these colorways right here, these are like not, I mean, the Chicago's are OGs. The bread is, uh, I would consider OGs, but like these, these are like the best colorways of the one. So if y'all don't know this photo, Foot Locker used to do launch uh, reservations, like launch locations, which told you which stores were getting which product. Yeah, these were just, I put this on the video because this was just like a better time in sneakers, in my opinion. Like, honestly, I was happier back then with sneakers. And I, in terms of Jordans in general, because I really loved all the retros back then. I think today I'm like, my excitement is a little bit down. I'm more excited about hoop shoes, like the 39 I'm very excited for, or was very excited for and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think. And if you remember this time at Foot Locker, here we have a brand new picture from one of my followers 
of the MB04. This is the La France colorway, I believe. It says love on the side. But let me know what y'all think. Hopefully the traction is just better. It looks to be a little bit higher. Maybe they made it a little bit higher due to Melo's ankle injuries. But I'm not sure. Maybe that's due to the traction, you know? I'm not sure. Maybe, or maybe he just ran. He got worked out by LeVar Ball on the hills. He just was working out every day too much as a kid. So I don't know. Like, let me know what you guys think of these Mellows. I think they're crazy looking, you know? Which is what the kids want for sure, or maybe they don't. But overall, I do like them. I just hope that the traction is very good and they kind of improve on the cushion. Here we have a Formula Zero colorway of the Dame 9. These are tough, but only given to campers at his Formula Zero camp. So let me know what you guys think of these. I really do like them. They kind of remind me of a superhero like shoe that you would see in like uh, an animated you know, series of superheroes or stuff like that, like X-Men. But let me know what you guys think of these. Curry 12 podium pack by the time that I am recording this has released. I did manage to buy both and cop both colorways. So I think it cost me around three, 310 total with tax and shipping. So here we have the Sabrina 2 mirrored colorway available on Nike.com. Let me know what you guys think of these. I did get these in hand and they're clean. I can see a lot of people just rocking these, you know, maybe casual, but on the court, these are tough. Just simple and clean, you know? Sometimes you're not really into the colors and stuff. You just want to get down to business. So let me know what you guys think of the Sabrina 2 mirror. GT Cut Academy in this crimson, you know, uh, magenta colorway. Let me know what you guys think of these. Air Jordan 39 in the Ama Manier collab. It has really nice materials on it, if you guys can see that. But guys, Ama Manier has what I seen reported the biggest Nike collaboration since the Off-White 10. That is kind of a crazy fact, guys. Kind of a crazy fact. I believe there's a Air Max 95, Air Force One. Um, there's obviously the threes and the fours. And then there's a bunch of other stuff as well. Maybe a blazer, I'm not sure. But let me know what you guys think of these 39s. I will be getting these some way, somehow. If not, obviously for resale. So yeah, I absolutely love the 39s, guys. Like they're a great shoe for me because they fit so well for my wide and flat feet. If you guys didn't watch like my previous video, I have like no arch in my foot guys. So like a lot of shoes just hurt, but these really do accommodate my foot very well. And I have like Achilles tendonitis too. And like the cushion in these just really helps me like propel forward, walk and run and stuff like that. So for, for me personally, I do like the 39. The only issue is the stability and the lack of the shank plate guys. Like this is definitely not the most stable shoe in the world, but yeah, that's what I would say for the 39, but I am excited for the Ama Manier colorway. Here's a brand new Kobe merch drop for August 23rd for the Halo 9s that are supposed to be releasing. Let me know what you guys think of this zip up right here. And like I said, I'm trying to include just like all basketball stuff, even retro stuff, and just incorporate that stuff into the video. Asia Wilson with the LeBron 21 South Beaches. Like these are the colorways I want. Do you guys remember the static shock colorway that Asia Wilson wore? Just super tough. Like I wish they released these for retail. I am on the record saying that like the LeBron 21 colorways are amazing actually. I really do think, especially the next gens. Next gens are really good or next gen amps in, in particular. But these, hopefully these release for retail, you know, like maybe a LeBron watch a little bit or something like that. Do you guys remember LeBron watch? But yeah, these are the types of colorways I really want, especially with the translucent outsole. These are absolutely fire in my opinion. Way of Way 10 Low Origin colorway. I do think it's interesting that Way of Way continues to release Way of Way 10 Lows. And I think it's because this is like the most beloved shoe from the brand. So yeah, the Way of Way 11, I don't think is as popular simply because of the aesthetics. And uh, for me, it made my foot go numb, especially in my true to size. I haven't tried to half size up yet. I'm still weighed all City 12 Encore in the avocado colorway. The main difference between these, the Encore and the regular version is that it comes with a GCU outsole, which is supposed to be the same thing on the weight of weight 11, I believe. And those are very, very grippy. Here are more colorways of the Encore. I really like the pink and the blue one. I think the green one is also good, but I would rank that last out of the colorways um, that I like out of those three. I only, I honestly really like the blue, the pink, pink might be first and then the and then the green one. Here we have this new Harden Volume 8 colorway right here for his wine. 
I think these are supposed to be releasing guys. Yeah, I did see a report that these are supposed to be releasing. I think in the fall. So hopefully we can see these for retail, but I do think it's gonna be one of the more popular colorways. Here we have this mock-up photo from Night's Kicks of just the AE1, you know, on Photoshop, you know, mock-up. These are tough guys. The Vikings colorway, I think the Vikings colorway actually was a PE. Here's a brand new Luca 3 colorway right here. These are tough. Hopefully, hopefully we get good colorways for the Luca 3. That That is going to be my thing about the Luca 3 is like, it's an average performer, basically. But if it has good colorways, I'm going to cop. If it has really good colorways, I'm going to cop. I think the 2s didn't really have great colorways outside of the Matadors and the Nebulas, honestly. The Lake Bleds come in that third spot. But let me know what you guys think of the Luca 3. I do like them. I mean, I just talked about it. I do like them. It's a really good fitting shoe for me. That's the one standout. Performance wise, it's just, you know, doesn't excel in a particular category. I did upload a full on performance review for these. So please watch that if you're curious for in-depth thought. GT Cut 3 Triple Black. I don't think these are gonna release because the GT Cut 1s, GT Cut 2 Triple Blacks never released. They were only given to college teams because it is a team colorway. But hopefully we do get a drop of these because these are tough. These are tough. I do like, you know, monochromatic shoes. If you watch my videos, you know, I always say this in like every video. I like monochromatic shoes and shoes that represent the team that the player is on. So this falls in that monochromatic colorway. And again, like I said earlier, sometimes you don't want colorful shoes one day, you know? I generally, obviously I like colorful shoes and stuff like that, stand out as shoes. But sometimes, you know, maybe you're just not feeling it and you just want something black, you know, all black, triple black colorway, Air Force One type vibes. But let me know what you guys think of these. Jalen Brunson, Nike has opted not to develop a signature shoe line for Brunson. However, he will be a recipient of PEs. I think that makes sense, guys. I think that makes sense because I don't think he's a signature athlete. I think getting PEs, hopefully we get a PE release. That's what I'm saying. I feel like he's been getting PEs already. I think he's gotten PEs already, right? So this is not really a surprise, but if we get a retail Jalen Brunson, that'll be tough. I know we're getting a Paige Buckets PE. I, I call her Paige Buckets. Hopefully we get a Juju PE all that stuff so let me know what you guys think if you want a jalen brunson pe to release for retail game nine purple colorway let me know what you guys think i wish that they didn't include orange on the shoe i think it looks or i don't know i i like monochromatic colorways guys i've been saying this so any if there's like a base color i want it all throughout the shoe i don't really like mixing colors sometimes but yeah, for these, that's why I say I don't want orange, but you know, I can see why people would like this colorway as well. Travis Scott, first retro that we're talking about in this video, I guess, outside of the, you know, Jordan 1 from Foot Locker back in the day, but new Travis Scott fragments are supposed to release. So I do have the lows, the original uh, Travis Scott fragment lows and the highs, actually, I actually paid a lot of money for both of them. If you guys look at StockX, you can see how much they go for, but let me know what you guys think. These are tough. These are tough. So we have seen Travis wear these. So these will release sometime in 2025. For all my sneakers, sneakerheads, hype beasts out there, you know, let me know if you guys are rocking with these, but I will definitely be going for these. I think everyone will. And if I don't, I'll be trying to get resale. I think the best time to pay resale is like when everyone gets their pairs from sneakers app and then you just buy it and then the price will stabilize. Maybe it'll go up a bit, but then over time, it's definitely gonna go up for sure. So round 22, gold medal. I want these to release. I have talked about these in the past, but these are tough. Hopefully these release. AE1 low gold medals. This is easily the best AE1 low. Sheesh. Especially with the, the glitter on the outsole, the gold, obviously, medial lateral sides, the gold aglets on the laces. These are crazy, guys. These are very clean. Hopefully we do see a retail release, but I highly doubt it. And yeah, these just pop. You know, if you're spending money, guys, you want some, for me at least, I like opening the box and looking at something that, that looks like it's worth it a little bit. So let me know what you guys think of these. Zoom Freak 6 for the kids. Even if these released in the men's version, I would not want them because of the colorway. But let me know what you guys think. I do have, obviously, I just told you guys I've been performance testing the Zoom Freak 6 in the Roses colorway. And those are tough in person. Actually, I like the details on those. And hopefully, you know, the other colorways following up the Roses colorway will be, you know, good as well. But let me know what you guys think of these. Three six Flowtro. If you guys don't know, my first ever YouTube video was my curry collection. I've been collecting curry, like curry. I used to treat curry as like Jordan releases, guys. I don't, I, I, tell me one person that does that. You know, like I used to like wait in line for curries. I used to like, you know, you know how sneakerheads are with Jordans. I was like that for curry specifically. 
Um, not so much anymore because like there's just so many shoes now. And honestly, like the flow technology has been like kind of the same. But yeah, I, I really have a huge Curry collection, guys. I still have a bunch of flow. And honestly, my favorite flow shoe was the Curry 4 flow show, but Curry 6 is coming back. I don't really like the aesthetics. Maybe it's just this colorway. That's my personal opinion, but let me know what you guys think of these. Hurry for Floatro. Now we're talking, guys. These are tough, very clean. I will be trying to get these, hopefully for retail. If you guys don't know, the Curry 4 Floatro, the lilac colorway that he won the 2022 finals in, guys, goes for like 500 bucks at least because he won a championship in those and stuff like that. So I do have mine. I paid high for them and I like collect them, right? So like I, I'm not wearing them. I wish I had a second pair to play in, but I did play in the Curry 4 Floatro, by the way, and like other colorways. I'm just not wearing the lilac one because for collecting purposes, like I have the magazine, I got the night night shirt in the box. I got like his three point, you know, like regular collector stuff. If you guys collect anything like watches, vinyl records, whatever, like you guys know what I'm talking about, but these are a clean colorway. Another retro really quickly. We are, you know, there was a report that we're getting the Canary off-white Jordan 1s in 2025. But then the other report was that it was canceled because people leaked it. I don't know what to believe, guys. But if we got these, oh man, I'm paying for them. These are tough. I absolutely love the, the 10 collection, obviously the off-white stuff. And it's just, it, it's such a good shoe to do the off-white on like the deconstructed look looks amazing on the jordan one and the jordan one is just a classic shoe like yeah hopefully we get to see these release so hopefully they make a lot of pairs but let me know what you guys think if you guys collect jordans and stuff like that if you are excited for the gt cut 3 jordan pool pe very happy that you know my guy jp is finally getting a retail shoe i'm very surprised he didn't get the colorway of the twos because he wore those a lot last year but the threes are much better performer my personal opinion don't get offended guys, but I've been saying this a lot that the threes pretty much beat the twos in pretty much uh, all the categories objectively besides cushion. I think the GT Cut 2 has a lot more layers of cushion, you know, objectively speaking, but these, yeah, just a better performer in my personal opinion. But let me know what you guys think. I will be getting these. Jordan Poole, shout out Jordan Poole, man. He helped us or helped me and my city, my Bay Area win a championship, you know, like, you, you got uh, emotional attachment to that guy. I'm sad that we traded him because, yeah, he's tough. And now, hopefully next year he, he bounces back because last year on the Wizards, he wasn't doing that great. But next shoe, Don Issue 6, Royal. Nothing too crazy, guys. Just a team colorway. Next shoe, AE1, sample colorway. Nothing too crazy. I wouldn't want to see... I wouldn't get these, honestly. I even tried to get the USA Lowe's, off topic, kind of, but those sold out on me. So AE1, it's just hard to get, guys. And even if these release, I wouldn't get them. But Jaw 2s, Jaw 2 Triple Black. I don't know if these will release, but if they did, if they did, I might cop. Because, like I said with the other Triple Black shoes, um, the you know, sometimes you just want something that's simple and clean that matches with like any outfit or, you know, just no BS, doesn't get dirty either, you know? So let me know what you guys think of the Triple Black Jaw 2s. We do have a Dame 9 Bape colorway, more of a traditional camo. I will be trying to collect the Bape collabs because like a lot of, you know, a lot of people don't understand that like it's very rare sometimes for basketball shoes to get really good executed collabs, you know, good executed collabs. And I think these are, are really well executed. So I do appreciate them. If they're a bad performer, I probably won't get them. But if they are, then yeah, I'll try to collect them. LeBron 22. I guess the silver medal or alternate gold medals, tough. Nike basketball, please release these. We do have the AE1 low in the slime green colorway. We did see Anthony Edwards debut these during the regular season. Really do like these. Really do like these colorway wise. I will say performance wise, they do have heel slip for me. They're, they're not too much lighter, if that makes sense. They're not that light compared to the AE1 regular. So yeah, performance wise, I was a little bit let down guys, but Silhouette wise, looks wise, these are fire in my print. KD17 Bahamas is supposed to be releasing at the end of the month. Let me know what you guys think of these. I think it's I think it's cool. I do like the pink laces as a nice kind of like contrast to the upper. Curry 1 Low Floatro in the Tour colorway. I think Steph is going to Asia. That guy needs some rest, guys. He needs some rest. He needs to just stay at home and sleep all day 
because yeah, I need him or at least, you know, because I'm a Warriors fan. I actually watch every single Warriors game, guys. I've watched like every single Warrior, like, most Warriors games. I think last season I did actually watch every single game. But over the past, yeah, like 20 years, I watched the majority of Warriors games. So I need this guy, you know, no injuries, hopefully no injuries. He just needs some rest. So I'm kind of worried because this is the Asia tour all the way. But I'm not sure if he's actually going to Asia. So hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully he does, you know, for the fans. But who balanced two way four PEs for Jamal Murray? Let me know what you guys think of these. These are tough. These are actually cool. That New Balance is releasing PEs. This is actually a good performer, guys. I actually uploaded a performance review on this shoe a year ago. It's actually crazy that they're still on this. It's been, I, I'm like surprised how fast time flies, but I did upload a performance review on the shoe a year ago. So go watch that, just search it, you'll find it. But um, it's a good performer. It's a, actually a really good performer and it actually weighs lighter. Than it looks so i did enjoy that. jordan 39 paulo pe's hopefully we get this out paulo vero that's what is that's what he called it the paulo vera peas like aloe vera um those are tough and then he does have a grape colorway those are fire because grape fives was like his favorite retro so yeah jordan 39s guys i absolutely think it's very comfortable just the stability not that great but like it's adequate but if you're like a shifty player you may not really like it in terms of just like the stability aspect because you may roll that ankle but let me know what you guys think for a player like me i do really like them bo ones i feel like they're milking the mbo one colorways guys i'm not a fan of this one although the past ones are actually really good the colorways at least um, it is still my favorite silhouette wise looks wise of the mellows but let me know what you guys think of this one and then we do have you know paulo on the cover of slam kicks these are tough we have a bunch of air jordan 39 colorways right there i did see all of them in person i did pick out the red ones because I, I red's my favorite color i've said this but it is cool it is cool i do like the red ones a lot so out of all the hoop shoes that we talked about guys leave a comment down below and let me know which one was your favorite okay for me it's got to be these kobe 5 pro Tros x-rays i think a lot of us are in agreement here but overall, it's got to be just like the resurgence of the Kobe line, guys. The resurgence of the Kobe line. And by resurgence, I mean making things more available. Now, the reason why I say that is not because of those Kobe 9s, because those Kobe 9s were actually very limited. So apologies there. But these Kobe 8 Brotros, we are getting a full slate of releases on September 6th. And I know the Kobe 8 may not be what we all wanted as the team quote unquote team shoe but i know we all wanted the fours we wanted the fives or the sixes as this team shoe because just imagine like imagine we got team colorways of the kobe six on september 6th that would go crazy but it is a good like trend right i'm talking about the trend here like hopefully they continue to keep this up and we do get more kobe releases in higher quantities more often so again leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of all the hoop shoes here and which one was your favorite what are you most looking forward to make sure to comment like and subscribe especially if you made it this far and i will catch you guys in the next one